Okay, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are in Palmer's Green Mosque and we are with Professor Halim and Yasser Sheikh. So the trustee of the mosque and I think his father is the president of the mosque. That's right. Um, the president. So this is a <laughs> <laughs> humble trustee. A humble yeah. trustee. And uh, talking about the sign, uh, we have put the, this is the public Quran campaign and we've put the sign outside the mosque um, and uh, here we'll just talk a bit about the public Quran campaign and how people reacted. The sign's been up now for a couple of weeks. Uh, a bit longer than that. It's been, uh, uh, yeah. It's slightly more than two yeah, weeks. Yes, about, about two, three weeks. So, so tell us, how's been the reaction to this sign? Alhamdulillah, um, it's been very positive. Obviously, we have uh, the congregation that visits on a daily basis. They come by, and because it's in such a prominent location, everyone who drives in or even walks in sees that sign at eye level. Um, so it's a beautiful verse that's there and that's something that everyone can sort of capitalise on. Uh, and it's applicable not just to uh, Muslims, uh, it's, uh, it's applicable to the whole of humanity as well. And the other beautiful location that we've got over there is um, on during the weekdays we've got a lot of backed up traffic on that, on that road there. So uh, cars waiting in traffic to get onto the North Circular, they see this sign in a very prominent location and they're facing in the direction of the sign as well. And it's just a, a gentle reminder about being kind to your family and your parents and speaking nicely to everyone as well. So, uh, yeah, very, very positive. Okay. Well, it's it's a uh, very good reaction. Um, we, we had uh, Professor Halim, was, is a, a professor, for those who don't know him, I'm sure you'll find out he's a professor of, uh, if you look up a Quran on Amazon, you'll find his translation of the Quran is the, is the top seller. Um, and uh, he's helping us, he's a, approves all our translations. Um, and so we worked together a little bit on the translation of this particular verse, which was chosen by your mosque manager, actually. He, yeah. I don't know whether someone told him or he, yeah. he just he came up with the verse. Um, and then we kind of took the standard translation and, and kind of finessed it a little bit to, to make it easy. We try to make it very easy to read, very quick to read, no long Greek. Latinized words. That's right. Yeah. So, so, um, uh, so, for example, translate and nurse as mankind, mm -hmm. which is how it was originally presented, but this is a kind of archaic way of translating mm -hmm. it. So we've just said people. Mm -hmm. um, and there was, I remember one, when we were talking about the, the translation, um, we talked about um, uh, establishing the prayer, which mm -hmm. is the, the, the phrase in Arabic. And, and you said, keep up, can we say keep up the prayer? Mm -hmm. Which is a, actually a wonderful translation. Because it actually has that li literal meaning, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So um, we, we, we bring in all this sort of mm. uh, expertise in this. And we must, must also mention your wife, um, my mother, because mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah. declare the relationship here, Very my important. stepfather, mm -hmm. and and she's uh, you know she's she's done a, she helps as well with kind of she she has deep understanding of English and. and so on, and whether we should say give in charity or give to charity, and mm. there's a question about that. And we changed it, we kept it as in rather than to for a specific reason. So we, we go into these in, in great detail to make sure mm. that yeah. the translation is, is as good as we can possibly get it. So, so alhamdulillah. Um, how, what, how do you, uh, would you like to say any comments about that? I, I think the idea of the public Quran, it was a very clever idea. The man always, for me, he always come with clever, <laughs> useful ideas like this, because, I mean, to put something outside the mosque, very short, concise, easy to read, quick to read, which captures some of the spirit of Islam, to show to people, so whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims, instead of just seeing the walls or the building and the dome, to have something useful like well, even the word Quran itself means a proclamation, yeah. you know, and we're not proclaiming it. Mm. So this is proclaiming it. Mm. And there's also, there's another lovely, I love um, puns. My children will complain about mm. my, my puns. Mm. But you can say, have you seen the sign? I mean, the ayat yes. means yeah. the sign. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's a kind of, <laughs> yes. it is the, the public Quran trust. Yeah. Giving the ayat of the Quran, the signs of the Quran, signs, yes, and it's, signs. we're literally putting out signs of yeah. the Quran yeah. in, in a two ways with two meanings. Mm. Sometimes puns are nice because they have truth in multi dimensions. Yeah, yes. <laughs> language being easy to understand and quick to read, and the sense also makes something useful to anybody who reads, whether they are believers. I'll or give you an example of this. Very interesting. 
we were just about to finalize the wording of it and we were saying the last phrase is give uh, be good to relatives and uh, orphans and mesakin and maskeen right mm. and this means uh, we translated that as needy um, and I read this to my young son who's 10 11 years old at the time yeah. and and he said what does needy mean because it's not a word we use in conversation mm. so I said okay yeah, that's right so it's kind of an archaic word mm. so let's let's say how about the poor Mm -hmm. I, I said, yeah, yeah, I understand that. So mm -hmm. just even so that my yeah. ten-year-old son can understand it, yes. you don't use archaic words because no. you, it's very easy to fall into use of archaic, <coughs> like, yeah. and if you look at use of Alice translation, for example, yeah. it's, it's got yeah. a lot of archaism, mm -hmm. which is very hard for people to understand when they're new to, you know, yeah. when they see it for the first time. So, and Rahim, I still find hard to use words which everybody understands now, but I benefit from discussions like this. Because I, I, mean, I benefit from my 10-year-old son can yes. tell me. Yeah. It's not obvious to him straight away. We want it to be obvious straight away. Mm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, the, the most important thing is just the simplicity as well. We want to uh, get rid of this, this barrier between Islam being complicated and the Quran being mm. complicated as well. Even to the non-Muslims as well. Yeah. And um, I mean, I, I've given your translation to non-Muslim friends mm. of mine. And uh, they, they love it. Um, people who are you know yeah. uh, into reading, they can read it like a like a book, and mm. they have benefit from it. Although you know one of them, the most recent example, is a Buddhist, um, mm. very open. He grew up as a as a Catholic, um, mm. uh, converted to Buddhism as well, and he was very intrigued reading uh, yeah, the Quran. So every so often he come comes up to me and says, "Oh, you know, just wants a bit of." Uh, you know? yeah, what you know, read most like yeah. this said yeah. would be very useful to me because. Mm. We need to see what other people who are not so much involved in the Quran, they are not like myself, mm. tell us we see things through their eyes yes. Yes. and it helps us to make our language even more. It's always the case when you, when you get very into a text, like if, yeah. you, if you edit yeah. a text for somebody, mm. after a while your mind starts skipping through it, it yes. doesn't read the whole text. Yeah. So that's why it's always good to have a fresh pair of eyes looking at yeah. it all the time. Mm. And they all, everyone sees something new. Mm. We all kind of bring to the Quran what that's our own it. understanding is. Yeah. And, and it, 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 it interacts with us all the time. So we're always, mm. it's every time you read it, it's something else. Every time I read and study a verse mm. or a surah, you, you, ah, I didn't see that before. Ah, that's amazing. Yeah. And that's uh, a it is, it is a, the Quran is like that. It's, it's got layers and layers of depth and meaning. And, and we could talk about it forever. But this is enough for now, I think, mm. inshallah. So, um, thank you for watching and uh, uh, make dua for us and uh, you can donate. We'll give you details in a moment. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yes.